Hello there everyone and welcome to yet another video. I know this video will piss many people off, but that's fine. In today's video I will be talking about why John Cena isn't the greatest of all time and 8 reasons to why I think so. Before we get started, I would like to say that I like Cena and he is one of the most decorated wrestlers ever. John Cena is also a very kind and sweet person in real life. Who grants over 500 maker wishes and makes his fans happy. But when it comes to wrestling, he is great. But not the greatest. But now, let's talk about the 8 reasons to why John Cena isn't the GOAT of professional wrestling. Reason number 1. He was never the best in ring competitor, in any era that he wrestled in. The ruthless Agrisian era had better in ring competitors than him. Shawn Michaels, Kurt Angle, Rey Mysterio and hell, even Randy Orton was a better in ring competitor than Cena in my opinion. And now in today's era, we also have a tune of great in ring competitors, who are better than Cena. I will mention some of them now. AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Brian Danielson or Daniel Bryan and Drew McIntyre. John Cena has had great matches too, but his greatest matches were with people like Shawn Michaels, Kevin Owens, AJ Styles and some of the other people I just mentioned. Reason number two. He is not the best mic talker in WWE history. Stone Cold, The Rock, Ric Flair, Macho Man Randy Savage and CM Punk are the top 5 best mic talkers in WWE history. I would even say that Chris Jericho is a better mic talker than John Cena. That was mostly because John Cena cut the same type of promos each and every single week. His promos were always about how he loves the city that he's in and then he makes some lame, stupid jokes. Reason number three. He is not the most inspiring wrestler. John Cena is a very inspiring wrestler. But I would say that The Undertaker, Stone Cold and The Rock are more inspiring. Because they had more badass personas. John Cena's persona was a PG, kid-friendly dude who wears colorful shirts and hats to the ring. Reason number four. Many fans stopped watching because of him. This is a fact that John Cena fans need to accept. Many stopped watching because of Cena and there are many ways to prove it. I think I even saw somewhere that Edge and Brock Lesnar drew better ratings than John Cena on SmackDown last year. So, there's that. Reason number five. He buried a lot of talent Wade Barrett and The Nexus, Damian Sando, Rusev and many other have been buried by John Cena. Of course, John Cena shouldn't lose every single match, since that would ruin his legacy a bit. But losing against those guys would have benefited them well. Reason number 6. He cut many cringe promos in his career. He once cut a promo where he called Seamus hair for ketchup hair. Enough said. Reason number seven. Many people booed him and hated him for years. Anyone remember ECW One Night Stand in 2006? That crowd ate Cena alive and I bet Cena doesn't miss that day one bit. Reason number eight and the final reason. Stone Cold Steve Austin is the greatest of all time in pro wrestling. Not John Cena. Stone Cold did so much for wrestling. More than John Cena. Austin saved the WWE in the 90s. That's honestly enough to explain to why Stone Cold is better than John Cena. There are plenty of wrestlers who are more in the GOAT spot than Cena. The Undertaker is better than John Cena. The Rock is better than John Cena. Hulk Hogan is better than John Cena. Ric Flair is better than John Cena. Shawn Michaels is better than John Cena. Triple H is better than John Cena. That was the video. Hope you enjoyed. 
I'm sorry John Cena fans, but the truth does hurt. I am also a big Cena fan, so doing this video also hurt me a bit. I can't wait to see John Cena back in the WWE and see what he's gonna do. He's returning next Monday night on Raw and we're gonna see who's gonna be his next rival. But that was the video. Thanks for watching and peace out.